What's up guys, today we're gonna learn Ready to Let Go by Cage the Elephant. You're gonna need a capo the first fret. We're gonna use all open chords for this. Let's get started. My name is Brett Blakemore from Summit Guitar School. Please consider liking and subscribing if you learned something from the video. Also, follow us on Instagram as well as Facebook. The links will be in the description. Okay, so let's start out by talking about the chords we need for this song. You have to make sure you have your capo at the first fret. And then we have an E minor. That's open, second, second, open, open, open. So second finger or second fret, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, and you strum all six. All right, then we've got a G. That's third fret, second fret, open, open, third fret, third fret. So your middle finger goes on the third fret, sixth string, second finger, second fret, fifth string, third finger, third fret, second string, and pinky, third fret, first string. All right, then we have got a C. That's three, two, open, one, open. So third fret, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, open, first fret, second string, strum the bottom five, okay? And then we've got a D, all right? So that's open, second fret, third fret, open. You strum the bottom four. That's second fret, third string, third fret, second string, and second fret, first string. You strum the bottom four strings. All right, and then the last chord that we've got is a B7. This one might be the trickiest one if you've never done it before, um, but we're gonna learn it today. So second finger, second fret, fifth string, first finger, first fret, fourth string, third finger, third fret, second string, pinky, second fret, first string. All right, just take your time with that, and you strum from the fifth string down. Okay, so let's talk about the strumming pattern we're gonna use for this song. I'll give the example on the E minor. So it's down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, down. All right, so that's down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, down. All right, you could also just do eighth notes and just do down strums and really drive it like. I'm gonna use the full strumming pattern. So let's talk about the intro. So you've got that same pattern. We're gonna go E minor to G. So it's down, up, down, down. Up, down, down. G. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. So you got two measures of E minor, two measures of G. All right, so let's talk about the verse. This is like really the only tricky part because there's a couple of two, four measures. And uh, yeah, so I'll count them out as I go through. We're gonna play the exact same strumming pattern we did in the intro. So I'll count it out. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the first line of the verse. So I'll do that again. So the second line of the verse is kind of the same thing, only you do a full two measures of E minor, then the two four bar. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'll do that second half of the verse there. So it's one, two. Take a look at this pre chorus, it's a little bit more straightforward than the uh, verses. So we've got C down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, E minor, down, down, up, E, down, down, up, C, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, E minor, B, C, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, E minor, B, G, down, down, up, up, down, down, B7. Down, down, up, down, down, then your chorus. E 
Okay, so let's take a look at this solo section. It's basically the pre-chorus chords, just half as long. So it's C. back to another chorus and then you end on like you don't even strum after you play that second chorus you don't strum anything it just ends on a vocal line so you finish on the b7 and then it just ends with like a vocal tag all right guys that is everything you need to know to learn ready to let go i hope you guys enjoyed the lesson if you did and you learned something please consider liking and subscribing we really appreciate the support have a great day